Hi, I'm Des, and today we're at the Master Maserati driving course. Since 1998, um, driving courses have been organized here at the Rana di Meligari track. It's our basis, let's say our headquarter of Master Maserati driving courses. We have a car fleet of about 15 cars today. They are GT, um, Grand Cabrio, Quattroporte and Ghibli. The focus of this driving course is on personal skills and advanced um, driving techniques for Maserati cars. The first information is just keeping okay, the hands on the steel. We call this position 9 degree position 950. Most of the time, even in this aspect, we saw people driving the car, you know, very far away from the steel, which is not really good. So this line that is the line that we use when we go racing. When we go racing, we must be very fast. But at the same time, we must be also safe. So we're at Maserati's resident racetrack near Parma and here they offer six different driving courses and uh, today we're taking part in the Master Premium uh, driving course uh, which takes two days and uh, includes a lot of uh, personal tuition. Um, the cars are uh, equipped with uh, video and audio um, as well as telemetry um, so uh, let's see what this does for my, uh, for my driving. Uh, there's my call actually so we gotta go. We start <coughs> from the pit exit, uh, we just waiting from the green light. <coughs> she can we do in third gear, okay? As I told you in the theory session, we just put some cones here just to show you where is the apex, where we need to go closer and then from the apex power down and open the line. Just we want to use all the race strong. Approaching the parabolica, we have the brake sign mark where we need to start braking. From this point, I'm already looking inside because I want to get my apex. Then, from my apex, power down, and at the same time, I open the steering wheel. Then, we arrive to the X curves, one of the most difficult corner here is the 90 degree corner. So, just had a first few laps on track. But a world rally, ex world rally car driver as a, as a instructor. Very good, nice little technical technical track. Um, some uh, tight chicanes and uh, some uh, nice combination of corners. Very interesting. And uh, now we're gonna have a look at the telemetry in the video. Cool thing about a day like this is that you can drive all kinds of different cars back to back. I think we started this morning with the Gran Turismo, no, Gran Cabrio, um, then I drove the Ghibli diesel, then I drove the Quattro Porta, normal Gran Turismo, um, MC Stradale, another Ghibli and another Quattro Porta. And um, it's funny to see the different driving characteristics of the cars. Obviously the Ghibli and the Quattro Porta are a lot more heavy than the um, Gran Turismo. 
um, but their new turbocharged engines and the new gearbox uh, give them a certain yeah, edge over the Gran Turismo as well. Um, especially the Ghibli is a lot of fun to drive on track. My personal favorite car for the sound, definitely the MC Stradale. For the element of surprise, I think the Quattroporte GTS. It sounds good, it drives good, um, it's just a little bit big, but get over it. In this exercise, we, we need to, our target is to learn how to control the car over a slippery surface. Over there, there is like a plastic surface. There is like a platform which will move quickly from right to the, to the left. So once the car is passing over, it will be like kicked from one side to the other side. The platform will kick you random. So me and you, no one should know from what side will be will come the, the kick. interesting exercise um, because of the rolling road that, that can go any side left or right uh, your brain has to kind of comprehend what is happening uh, but as soon as you get it um, it's quite easy to do actually turn in quickly and recover quickly as well Now the last two rounds we do the same thing but with ESP on and uh, you can actually feel the, the individual wheels braking to keep the car steady as soon as possible. Uh, it's a very big difference. You will drive three times on track. Uh, once with the telemetry in the um, Gran Turismo, once in the MC Stradale, which is the lighter version of and the sporting version of the uh, Gran Turismo. The third one, it's up to you as before. You should drive against something you already driven, it's up to you. With. telemetry on board so uh, now we're going inside to have a look at the telemetry and see how it did. The blue is the instructor, the red is me. Just in the braking part I need to <laughs> practice a little bit more but look at the, like, look at the throttle, throttle line is a bit distorted. But in general I'm, I'm well pleased. <laughs> I can see that you are very pushing out, very aggressive, and I can see, first of all, from the speed, which is very, you know, the top speed is higher than the driver instructor okay. in, in every single sector, so that means you are pushing very hard, <laughs> uh, and also you're braking very hard, you see, you yeah. are, your pressure is more than the driver instructor, okay. because you're faster, so then you need, you need to brake more brake. Yeah. That's normal. Here you you had a, a 
problem with the line probably because you lose the car a little bit in the back and you need to correct the car but then you recover well fantastic she can which is difficult line is perfect impressive also the brake was very good but this lap is very impressive I mean it seems that uh, you are uh, good good I like to see this yeah, I mean but you can see it very very similar which is difficult to see a graphic like this well done. Second exercise, which is a step higher, uh, is there. It's not easy to understand because it seems a big mess of cones, but there is a specific, you know, kind of uh, li little track in which you have to simulate the pendulum effect. The pendulum effect you already seen this morning when it was in late going back again on straight position with the steering wheel. In this case, you will not be hit by, you know, but, but somebody else but you will create by yourself the pendulum method. The pendulum method will come from gas and from the transfer of loads from one side to the other side when you are shifting direction. So we just spent some time in the skid pad, did some drifting, uh, actually I preferred the donuts but <laughs> um, and uh, now we're getting ready to go out on track. Hello, my name is Domenico Schettarella, I'm an ex Formula 1 racing driver and I'm here like a, a director of the Maserati Master driving course. I think it's a, a very nice driving course because we really uh, teach people that home Maserati but also uh, let's say people that don't own Maserati uh, to drive the car and the racing track in the, in the right way. Uh, that's why we use a telemetry system so we can really compare our lap with the, the customer lap. Uh, we really make them in big improvement from one day from the first day to the second day because we really work a lot on the telemetry system our goal of course is not only working on the speed but especially on the technique and when you got a good technique you improve a lot the, the safety of, of, uh, of, uh, of your driving let's say the Maserati uh, driving course that we use now is uh, Varano de Melegari which is an international driving course they use this track for racing uh, well, the trickiest part that probably is the last part where we have the X curves and we have a two consecutive left corner and there when the people they are good they only have one line and they only use one steering angle. For this specific driving course the, 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 the most let's say beautiful car to drive in the racetrack of course is the MC Stradale because we have a carbon brake disc so this, the setup of the car is just made for, for because the car is more stiff compared to the, the, the Gran Turismo, the normal one Start easily, so 
step by step. If you just start very aggressive from the first session, then to me always looks hard for people to improve on the second day. Of course it's a question of concentration because it's not easy for every single corner to be concentrated and find you know the right the, the right breaking point. Try to do this. It's a kind of exercise. Okay. So then we're gonna move here for the contest for the little race and also we're gonna have the pace car. The pace car is something that people really love because you're gonna be alone in the car following us when he breaks, you go there and break. And then when he turn, try to turn. Try to copy the line. Oh, good morning, we're back for the second day of the Master Maserati driving course. Today we'll do some more telemetry laps. We'll have another exercise and um, I think we're doing some pace car runs as well with the instructor driving in front of us. So before we start, I will show you a little bit more about the inside of the car. Come on, hop in. So the car's got electric seats, um, automatic, gearbox with flapper pedals on the steering wheel. Most of the times we're driving in manual mode, although if you're not that experienced driver you can choose to, to keep it in auto as well. Um, what else is important? You will see a little modification here in the center. There's a big big red button um, that's a fire extinguisher in case you uh, flame up the brakes. All the cars are in different specs so they have different engines from um, the latest twin turbo um, V6 and V8 engines in the Quattroport and the uh, Ghibli. To the Ferrari built V8 in the in the Gran Turismo and the Gran Cabrio. And uh, especially the the latter sound fantastic. So for the last challenge of the Master Premium Driving Course, um, they set up a little track with cones and uh, challenges stay in second gear, sport mode and uh, just lap it as soon as you can. Some guys have been, um, I think they got 27 seconds something, um, the instructors did it in 26, but uh, the track is getting pretty wet now, so uh, I'm making up excuses already, I guess my turn is up now.
699 però ha preso un cono. Thank you. I gave it everything. <laughs> Up to this point we've been in the car with an instructor next to us. Now we're taking it to the next level and uh, that means that we're we get a pace car in front of us and uh, we're loading the car. So uh, aim is to just to overtake the pace car. No, I'm joking. Our aim is to follow his lines and <laughs> get a better get better at break, at the braking points and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to it. Side, there's some award ceremony and then uh, we go home but uh, what can I say it's been so much fun it's been a great couple of days and uh, really uh, yeah, I can recommend it even if you don't own a Maserati this is uh, it's a fun event to go to that's Selmeyer well now let's give you a prize for the Percorso GT you know you had a little race Someone to start to smile. So the winner with 27.2, which is a very good lap time, is Dad Selmayer. So I hope you enjoy the day, and of course we hope that you really learn something. Yeah, what can I say? Got the trophy. And this is for all the GT Spirit fans, of course. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, hope to see you again soon. Autonomous driving feature on the new Mercedes-Benz E-Class seems to work pretty well. Just ask you from now and then to just touch the steering wheel real quick, but other than that, just like Tesla's autopilot. Just to show you a little bit more, as you can see it's driving autonomously right now, going through the curve. It works.